So I'm taking a drive today up to the parkway. And we pass, pass this lake. There's a dam down here in the curve there, which I can't get because, well, as you can see, there's signs everywhere saying not to. These might not say. Ones at the ones at the dam said posted, so not allowed to go down there. But anyway, um, so yeah, just taking a drive up to the parkway, and uh, we're supposed to start vlogging, but. Uh, I didn't feel like buying a camera. Hold up. I didn't feel like buying a camera to vlog with, so I thought, I'll just vlog with my phone. Who cares? A friend of mine, uh, last pirate for us is, is that his YouTube channel? It might not be. You know what, I'll figure out his YouTube channel and then I'll tell you. But uh, we agreed to start vlogging together. Not like that, you know what I mean. We would both video, we would both vlog for a while. We would start on the same day and kind of motivate each other. We're in the mud back there too. Kind of motivate each other to do it. And um, we're supposed to start today. <laughs> but I just didn't see, I, you know, I couldn't see spending $200 on a camera just yet. I don't really have the money. Here's the light again. You really can't see it now. Um, and I thought, well, I've got plugins for my phone and, you know, the charge in the car. I've got plenty of storage. Could you use my phone? I mean, why not? Just got to remember to use this back camera because, um, if I don't, it'll knock me out of 1080p. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I should probably drive and not look at it, but look at that. There's a big building out on the lake. I forget the name of this lake, but um, you know what? I could probably hit GPS. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I totally screwed it up. GPS. And the map doesn't load. <laughs> I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> anyway, there's the lake again. And houses. Oh, I can't remember the name of this lake. It's not Lake Norman. It's, um, uh, I don't know. But my map t it definitely doesn't want to load for some reason. I think it's just that I'm, there's no, there's nothing to load. Like that's just mountains. It's loading the, the mountain art. So we're going to the top of the mountain. We're going, hopefully, unless the parkway is closed, <laughs> to Mount Mitchell. Uh, Mount Mitchell is a pretty, I don't know, I guess memorable mountain, you would say. Um, Mount Mitchell overlooks uh, our city and, well, both of our cities. And um, a lot of stuff uh, has gone on throughout life on Mount Mitchell. My grandpa owned some land up there, uh, so we go. We've you know been quite a bit for that. Um, there is a overlook tower at the top of the mountain that um, my grandpa used to. He he helped, he helped build the tower that used to be there. Um, they've replaced it about five years ago with a brand new one, but um, it's still pretty memorable to go and have a look because, you know, he helped build it and all that stuff. I mean, even though it's the one that he helped build isn't there anymore, but whatever. So we'll take a walk and it's gonna be a walk to get to it. If I can even get there, I hope the parkway's not closed. I mean, it's a pretty beautiful day and there's a lot of tourists here, so there should be no reason why the, uh, the parkway is closed, but you never know, they close it for the winter and. They're afraid that we're going to get a late April snow, and so <laughs> you never know. Anyway, uh, this is Buck Creek Road, so you can do some Googling on that and find out what lake is off of Buck Creek Road. Is that what it's called? Buck Creek Road? Highway 80? Highway 80. Let's say that. I am in the Suburban still. I've got a half a tank of gas to burn out by tomorrow because it's due back tomorrow. By the way, sharp curves. We're climbing here. Stop going so fast. <laughs> um, so I have to take the car back tomorrow so I thought 
a good trip up the mountain would burn a quarter tank easy and uh, hopefully if the parkways open all the way through I'm gonna ride it to Asheville and uh, go grab some lunch I haven't ate yet this is probably a bad idea to come up through here without eating yet but whatever so um, my <clears throat> dad and grandpa liked to bear hunt a lot and um, I you know I've participated I don't I don't do it much anymore but um, we've come up through here before and um, there's just uh, I'll show you this church up here once we get to it I think it's up here you know what it might be on the other side of the mountain I'm a little confused I haven't been up here in a while but uh, there's a church that I remember you know we passed by several times while hunting and it was just kind of you know I got a car behind me, so I'm thinking about pulling over and letting him go on, because I am not moving fast. I'm a tourist. I got tourist plates. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Alright, I'll turn the camera back on if I come up with something uh, more interesting. This is the church. Uh, it's sort of at the bottom of the mountain. You got like a little river here. Um, and this doesn't really pertain to bear hunting, but um, I mean, you know, we've you pass it, it's pretty memorable. You see it uh, every time you come up through here. So I thought maybe I would get a little shot of it. And um, I assume it's still being used. <laughs> it looks like it's being used. But anyway, it's been here forever. And uh, this is the road going up the mountain. We're not even, we've not even started climbing the mountain yet. But, um, start heading up the mountain here and I'm this is a long twisty windy road but that's the way mountains work you uh, you got to climb get a few straightaways right before you hit the climb but uh, here's your GPS now if you want to look at that got plenty of mountains coming up on us there and uh, that road just kind of disappears off into the <laughs> Off into the middle of the mountain. That's a little weird. But, uh, I was, you know, I was driving. It's already getting kind of curvy. And I was thinking, I would really like to have a dash cam. Because I could make some people sick driving up through here. I mean, curves like this. And big, big run off side of the road. Because, you know, car coming. <laughs> curves like this are just big. And uh, it gets worse. It gets a lot worse going up through here, and you're climbing. And uh, I mean, it'll never a camera will never give it justice as to what it feels like riding up through here. But if you're easily if you easily get car sick, <laughs> this would be the road to get it in. So, well, this would be one of many roads to get it in. But anyway, I'll come back if I see more. Obviously, I'm gonna see more. I need to stop saying that because I mean, YouTubers who vlog they don't go all right i'm signing off until next time five minutes later you know it's like, uh. so just what i do just end it abruptly one of the many overlooks at the top of the mountain here at the parkway we're going to try to move on because there is a group of bicyclists that i had to get around and i don't want to have to get around them again there were a bunch and trying to get around them on the parkway is not easy because there's all kinds of curves and then you meet a car head on and then you're like oh yeah I either hit this car or hit this motorcycle bicycle is whatever so this is a little pull-off road that you can go to off of the parkway actually looks like the gates closed I'm not going that far anyway though um, They've got this um, drinking fountain, but it's all natural. It's not like you know, it's not it's not running, pumping water. It's uh, naturally flowing water, and it's often here in these bushes somewhere. It used to be, I don't know, it might not still be there, but um, it used to be right off in here somewhere. You just walk a little ways right out through here, and uh, there's a place to get water now I could be at the wrong road but um I thought I was at the right road but no commercial vehicles am I a commercial vehicle 
I think technically I am, but I don't think it matters. See, that would be, uh, see, that's, no, we're at the wrong road. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we're out of place. I've been here before. My grandpa's come here, and uh, we've, you know, we went riding a lot. My grandpa's from this area, this county, um, grew up here, so uh, we come exploring a lot when I was younger, and um, so I was at the wrong road, but I have been to that road before. That's just not the road that I was talking about. So um, let me show you the other road when I get to it. Off down in here is uh, where we hunt, bear hunt, a lot, and um, we should be coming up on a tunnel pretty soon that um, is, it wasn't created for this purpose, the tunnel was created to go through the mountain, but um, it, it's a great, <laughs> it's great uh, that it's there because usually um, if, right here it is, wow, that was pretty fast actually. Um, the mountain just continually climbs right over it, and uh, this is just in the side of the mountain, really. And um, whenever you get bear hunting and dogs chasing the bear, it usually heads straight up to this area and crosses the road, but it doesn't cross the physical road. It goes above that tunnel because it's just a perfect little area for it to go. And so if the bear's running up, then you'll know that it's running to that tunnel. So get to the top of that tunnel and that's where you need to be. I'm just kind of Sunday driving up through here. I didn't get to stop at the other road that I was tell, talking about, but um, I mean, I passed it and I was like, yeah, well, it ain't important because you couldn't, you know, yeah, I'm not going to walk to it anyway. So, um, But this is, you know, this is right where we always are. Uh, if we're bear hunting off the parkway, which by the way is legal. <laughs> uh, we had a lot of, a lot of research into that to make sure before we decided to come on up here and so um we're not bear hunting on the parkway we're hunting off the parkway it's a big difference anyway like i say i'm sunny driving and uh <laughs> there's cars catching me every five minutes and it's just like well i mean what's the parkway for is it not scenic is it not to have a look at all this scenery and god's creation you know that's kind of the point of the parkway and um, I mean, that's why I've got my camera out right now is to show you guys. What's this? That's a pull-off. Okay. That's a, I was looking. <laughs> There's a road i got to take up here. Uh, that's a Outlook that you can look. And we that's where we went to watch. Actually, we watched a meteor shower, meteor shower a couple months ago there. Back when I had the Ram 1500, we drove it up here and laid out and watched the meteor shower it's pretty cool but um yeah this is just i mean they say fall is the best time to come up here because you can see all the leaves changing but right now i think is the best time because everything's starting to get green again it's starting to to look like what it's supposed to look like i'm gonna jump off here and let this car go around me I'm just going to pull over here and have a look at this mountain. It's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. The car has gone. So we will continue. I turned the camera off, but I thought, you know what? This is a drive. And I don't care about having a 20-minute vlog. And I'm sure you guys don't care if you're enjoying it. So I just thought maybe I would show a little bit more. We're going downhill now. It's the other side of this little hill, I guess. Definitely not a mountain. Of course it could be. I don't know. I don't know what this mountain, particularly right here, is called. I know that I'm going to Mount Mitchell, which should be pretty soon. Coming up. I'm thinking about driving back down uh, to where I live and then going to Asheville using a different road. Not only because, like, not only because I feel like it would help me burn the gas out, but because I'm not 100% sure where to go when I get up here. And I don't want to get lost in the deep woods of middle of nowhere with no cell phone service. That would be bad. Not like cell phone service would help me. I do have a GPS, though. I guess I could use that. 
just nulled everything I just said. Well, it still helps me burn gas. <laughs> I actually think it'll take longer going this way than it would if I were to just go back and around, down and around, and back up, which is weird. You go down one mountain, around, and up another, basically. Whereas this road just keeps your elevation the same, but takes you around several mountains to get there. That's pretty much the best explanation I can give you about it. If you guys ever wanna come to North Carolina, this would be the place to go. Parkway is a must. Unfortunately, whenever our family come up, the, the gates are usually always closed, which is great because, not really. I don't know what that road is. <laughs> We're not gonna take it because I don't know what it is. But it's a road, and who knows where it goes. That might go out to a residential area out there. There are some residential areas up here, which is a little weird. I just, I don't know, why would you live up here? I mean, maybe I would vacation up here, but I don't think I could live up here. You know there's no internet, which is a big deal for me, apparently. Luckily, I've caught someone now, so I can slow down. I just seen him at the curb back there. Right there they are. And he's pulling off. Well, whatever. There's some more overlook of more mountains. And cool stuff. Yeah. This is the drive up to the Mount Mitchell State Park. So we are on Mount Mitchell right now. I wasn't entirely sure where I was at, you know, I've come up here many times, but um, I knew that if I just followed the road, I'd get there eventually. <laughs> I thought that it was a lot closer than it really was, so I ended up driving for a while and I was like, okay, am I not there yet? But this is the official entrance to the state park. Hopefully they don't charge to come here, you know, there was... I heard there was talk about charging to come up here. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? This has really put a strain on this car, I can tell you. It just it did not want to climb this mountain, that's for sure. It just acted that way at least. It changed gears a bunch, which I know you're not supposed to do in cars like this because they have a transfer case and that could heat up, have issues. Um, got to the top of the mountain and it was spark knocking and I was like, are you serious? 2015, but it's a Chevrolet, so that kind of explains it. Uh oh. All right, I'll come back whenever we see more good stuff. This is the trail going up to the tower. This used to be dirt several years ago. It's pretty neat though. Whew. Quite a walk up through here. But the outlook is right there. They don't have a tower anymore, but I can live with that. Whew. This is a walk. <sighs> a lot longer than I remember it being. <laughs> so, take a little rest right here in the shade and then we'll go up. This building I'm 
coming up on here used to be a museum where you could go through and look at all the different things. I don't know what all's in here. I'm not even sure if it's open, but I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> Education center, whatever. Same difference. You are here. That was quite a walk. I think I have well deserved, earned a well deserved visit to Chili's, which is what I have punched in here to see where it'll take me. Whew, that was a walk. It was actually a really nice restaurant here as you can go to um, if you're hungry. <laughs> I'm not going, but um, <clears throat> it's pretty nice. It's expensive. I don't even know if it's open according to all the cars that are here right now but um expensive but nice i just pulled in here mainly because i had a car on my butt and i wanted to get them off but uh when possible make a u-turn shut up siri <laughs> but anyway um either or it's a nice restaurant a nice place to eat we're gonna head on down now and uh <coughs> apparently chili's is 20 miles from here that's not very far actually i thought it'd be farther so We'll see where we can go. Unfortunately, I didn't video anything else today. Um, I did the Parkway, and then I went on to Asheville, went to eat. I didn't go to Chili's. I went to Cheddar's, which was close enough. Started with a C. <laughs> and, uh, and then I went home. And I just kind of laid around and, you know, did computer work for the rest of the day. <laughs> Nothing worth videoing, for sure. So, uh, hopefully... This has been a decent enough vlog for you guys, and hopefully I can continue this madness. Tomorrow we have to do a little traveling to burn some gas out of the car and then return it by four. And at four we'll decide whether we want to get something else or if we want to just say screw it and come home without a car for a little while. Anyway, just wanted to end the video. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe or something. <laughs> And uh, hopefully you liked it. So yeah, see you guys later.